Good morning, you guys. So we stopped on um, what to do when you feel discouraged. And we we're on page 62, you guys. And I'm just going to be reading. So we must not become tired of doing good. We will receive our harvest of eternal life at the right time if we do not give up. That's from Galatians 6, 9. Psalms 31, 24. All you who put your hope in the Lord, be strong and brave. Psalms 31, 24. This is Psalms 27, 1 through 14. The Lord is my light and the one who saves me. I fear no one. The Lord protects my life. I am afraid of no one. Evil people may try to destroy my body. My enemies and those who hate me attack me, but they are overwhelmed and defeated. If an army surrounds me, I will not be afraid. If war breaks out, I will trust the Lord. I ask only one thing from the Lord. This is what I want. Let me live in the Lord's house all my life. Let me see the Lord's beauty and look with my own eyes at his temple. During danger, he will keep me safe in his shelter. He will hide me in his holy tent. Or he will keep me safe on a high mountain. My head is higher than my enemies around me. I will offer joyful sacrifices in his holy tent. I will sing and praise the Lord. Lord, hear me when I call you. Have mercy and answer me. My heart said of you, go worship him. So I come to worship you, Lord. Do not turn away from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have helped me. Do not push me away or leave me alone. God, my Savior. If my father and mother leave me or forsake me, the Lord will take me in or take me up. Lord, teach me your ways and guide me to do what is right because I have enemies. Do not hand me over to my enemies because they tell lies about me and say they will hurt me. I truly believe I will live to see the Lord's goodness. Wait for the Lord's help. Be strong and brave and wait for the Lord's help. Right, Psalm 27, 1 through 14. So just a quick recap. That's page 20, 62 through 63. That was Galatians 6, 9, Psalms 31, 24, and Psalms 27, 1 through 14. Enlightening, y'all. Okay, so now let's talk about what to do when you feel worried. Okay? And uh, this is from page 64 through 66. So what to do when you feel worried? The lightning, guys. I don't know. I keep going in and out. I'm just going to read. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries to him because he cares about you. John 14, 1. Jesus said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. That's John 14, 1. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. And with these, I'm just going to just now just be reading them. So if you want to pause and take notes for the scriptures, you can. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need, always giving thanks. And God's peace, which is so great we cannot understand it, will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So that's Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Colossians 3, 15 says, Let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking, because you were all called together in one body to have peace. Always be thankful. That's Colossians 3.15. Isaiah 26.3 You, Lord, give true peace to those who depend on you because they trust you. And some translations talk about how God will, when we keep our minds stayed on God, He will give us peace. He's going to give us His peace because you got your mind stayed on Him. That's Isaiah 26.3. Philippians 4.19 says, My God will use His wonderful riches in Christ Jesus to give you everything you need. Psalms 4, 8. I go to bed and sleep in peace because, Lord, only you keep me safe. And this is from Matthew 6, 25-34, this next point. It says, so I tell you, don't worry about the food or drink you need to live or about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more than food and the body is more than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns but your heavenly father feeds them and you know that you are worth much more than the birds you cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it and why do you worry about clothes look at how the lilies in the field grow 
They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon with his riches, like in all his splendor, right, was not dressed as beautifully as one of these flowers. God clothes the grass in the field, which is alive today, but tomorrow is thrown into the fire. So you can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Don't worry and say, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? The people who don't know God, the pagans, the unbelievers, the people who don't know God keep trying to get these things. And your Father in Heaven knows you need them. Knows you need them. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will have its own worries or its own troubles. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew 6, 25-34 Romans 8 6 now, if people's thinking is controlled by the sinful self or the the fleshly nature the sinful nature right there is death but if their thinking is controlled by the spirit there is life and peace Romans 8 6 Proverbs 3 24 when you lie down you won't be afraid when you lie down you will sleep in peace that's Proverbs 3.24, Hebrews 4.3, and also verse 9. We who have believed are able to enter and have God's rest. As God has said, I was angry and made a promise. They will never enter my rest. But God's work was finished from the time he made the world. This shows that the rest for God's people is still coming. Okay, Psalms 119.165 Those who love your teachings will find true peace and nothing will defeat them. Psalms 91, 1 through 2. Those who go to the Most High, to God Most High, for safety will be protected by the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, You are my place of safety and protection. You are my God, and I trust you. Psalms 91, 1 through 2. John 14, 27. I leave you peace. My peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world does. So don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. John 14, 27. So let's talk about what to do when you feel lonely. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be satisfied with what you have or like content with what you have, right? God has said, I will never leave you. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. That's Hebrews 13, verse 5. Matthew 28, verse 20. Teach them to obey everything that I have taught you. And I, and I will be with you always, even until the end of this age. That's Matthew 28, 20. 1 Samuel 12, 22. For his own sake, the Lord won't leave his people. Instead, he was pleased to make you his own people. That's 1 Samuel 12, 22. Isaiah 41, 10. So don't worry because I am with you. Don't be afraid because I'm your God. I will make you strong and will help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. Isaiah 41 10. John 14 18 says, I will not leave you all alone like orphans. I will come back to you. John 14 verse 1. Jesus said, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. Deuteronomy 33 27. The everlasting God is your place of safety, and his arms will hold you up forever. He will force your enemy out ahead of you saying destroy the enemy deuteronomy 33 27 psalms 147 3 he heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds or he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds psalms 147 3 romans 8 35 through 39 can anything separate us from the love christ has for us can troubles or problems or sufferings or hunger or nakedness or danger or violent death as it is written in the scriptures for you we are in danger of death all the time people think we are worth no more than sheep to be killed but in all these things we have full victory through god who showed his love for us yes i'm sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor ruling spirits no angels nor demons no nothing right guys nothing now nothing in the future no powers nothing above us nothing below us nor anything else in the whole world will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
Romans 8, 35 to 39. Deuteronomy 4, 31. Because the Lord your God is a merciful God, he will not leave you or destroy you. He will not forget the agreement or the covenant because we know we serve a covenant keeping God, right? He will not forget the agreement with your ancestors, which he swore to them. Deuteronomy 4.31. And we're going to close with these last few verses on page 69. And then tomorrow, we're going to talk about what to do when you feel depressed and some other things that we talked about in the beginning when we started this book and going over the overview and contents and things. So Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and brave. Don't be afraid of them and don't be frightened because the Lord your God will go with you. He will not leave you or forget you. Deuteronomy 31, 6, Psalms 27, 10. We read this, but it says, If my father and mother leave me or forsake me, the Lord will take me in. Isaiah 54, 10. The mountains may disappear and the hills may come to an end, but my love will never disappear. My promise of peace will not come to an end, says the Lord who shows mercy to you. Isaiah 54, 10. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries to him because he cares about you. Or, you know, you can cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. And we're going to close with this. Psalms 46, verse 1. God is our protection and our strength. He always helps in times of trouble. So, guys, today we continue reading about what to do when you feel discouraged, what to do when you feel worried, and what to do when you feel lonely. And tomorrow we're going to pick up a lot more um, with the reading. You guys were on page 70 for you following along in the book. And I just want to quickly pray really quick before we um, get off. I just pray that, you know, you continue to draw closer to God. And that God continue to get the glory and have his way in your life. And Lord, those that are righteously here, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. Psalms 91 to Psalms 23. And I pray that your week and your day be blessed. And I pray that God begin to do some new things in you and in your life. I pray that God touch every area of your life. I pray that he touch your business, your job, your career, your finances, your children, your ministry, your marriage, your purpose, your destiny, your home, your spiritual journey and walk with him, your spirit, man, your soul, your body, every area of your life, your car, your travel, your business transactions, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to the gas station, protect your neighbors and, you know, your, your country and your community and that God begin to just rapidly bless you and continue to bless you in his time and favor you know in that isaiah 54 and psalms 91 also be your portion and also ecclesiastes 3 1 in jesus name amen you guys have a great day